Hello, welcome to lesson 55, Dictionary Collection in C Sharp, brought to you by Agpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is dictionary. Okay, dictionary is a collection of key value pair and dictionary is a generic collection. You can observe from the signature itself, we'll come to know this dictionary is a generic collection included in the system.collection.generic namespace and here the value T key and T value stands for the type of the key and type of value. Okay, and dictionary provides fast lookups for values using the keys and keys in the dictionary must be unique. Here are some of the important methods and uh, properties in the dictionary. Right now what we'll do is we'll jump into Visual Studio and we'll start coding uh, for a dictionary collection. It's very simple. How do I initialize dictionary since it's a generic collection? Then you can observe here this is originating from the namespace called system.collections.generic and see the signature of it since it is a generic it's having two angular braces and two parameters passed in it okay the first is t key and t value it's specifying like what type of key you want whether you want an integer key or a string key or a boolean key whatever the key it is but as of now in my in this example i would like to take my key as integer type and my value as string type okay done with this okay i'll name a variable like a ditio dictionary equals new okay my initialization of this dictionary collection is done okay uh, I, have, I have strongly typed telling that my dictionary collection should have the key integer type and the value of string type now once I'm done with this how do I add items I do I add elements to it it's very simple we have a method in dictionary class called add method to add items to it so uh, you will make use of that add method I'll call that uh, okay this add method uh, first we have to pass the key since it is integer I have to pass like some values and the value is I'll take it as like uh, C sharp okay I'll copy and paste the same thing to save time okay I would like to add at least four items so one two the keys is like in the order one two one three and four and it is MVC it is uh, selenium selenium then some other like APM okay these are the language these are the things you are present in this list in this collection sorry like four uh, items C sharp MVC selenium and APM now once I've stored them how do I retrieve back okay uh, it's very simple um, you can retrieve back with the help of uh, if you want to retrieve uh, like individual element you have to retrieve back with the help of the key so how do I do that uh, dictionary dot sorry uh, if I want to see the second element what second the element present in the second key how do I do that like dictionary I have to call the key name key value that is 2 so if I want to see the element which is present in the key 2 I have to pass like this when I run this program obviously it will show MVC on the console screen because the value present in the key 2 is MVC okay this is what the output we wanted but if you want to if you want to make use of for each loop to iterate your collection then how do I do that it's very simple uh, for each okay instead of uh, implicitly type var we have to make use of uh, some other collection like uh, other data type here I'll make use of key value pair okay what is this key value pair ta taking okay it's taking integer comma string okay because in my collection in my dictionary collection we have a key of integer type and string type so I'm taking like this and I'll rename it as like uh, KVP and the collection here is dictionary so I li like to copy this okay done okay why I why instead of using the var type I made use of key value pairs it will be of like strong type strongly typed uh, data type for this KVP so I made use of this key value pair instead of that you can use var also you'll get the output now uh, how do I print the key as well as the value uh, I'll make use of the like okay I'll make use of placeholders then I'll call that kvp variable dot see I'm getting a key property here similarly if I want to call the value it's very simple kvp dot value okay 
Now when I run this program obviously it will print the keys with respective values. Now let us see how it is going to print. As obviously it is print like k 1 2 3 4 and the value respective value C sharp MVC Selenium and APM. Okay this is what the output we expected. Now what I did we just created a dictionary collection and we specified the key of type integer and the value of type string and later we added items and later we saw how to access each item individually and how to make uh, how to make use of for each loop to iterate the collection so this is what we learned in this uh, in this in this few minutes right now we'll jump back into presentation we will see some of the methods okay some of the methods like we'll see remove and contains key okay uh, let us make use of some uh, method called remove remove to specify the key okay if I want to remove the value called MVC then I have to specify the key of it here the key is remove or uh, key is 2 now when, when I run this application it will remove the key 2 with the value also you can observe here we have having only one three keys 1 3 and 4 and the respective values this is how we will remove a uh, element from the dictionary collection okay we learned the remove and uh, coming back we have okay we have another method for remove let us try that also like uh, when I implement i dictionary to the main thing um, it, it has another one overloaded method method for that dictionary dot um, remove okay instead of uh, okay let us remove this i dictionary let it be dictionary only remove we have to specify uh, like the entire thing uh, key value pair int string uh, what is the what is the thing we have to remove like uh, if I want to remove this I have to copy this and paste here okay now if I does that it is not uh, okay okay the thing is this I dictionary interface dictionary is having another one overloaded method which will take this entire thing like it will take the key value pair with the value to remove the particular um, particular value so this is how this this is the other overloaded method of remove which is present in the i dictionary class interface now when i run this program obviously that particular thing will be removed okay this is the advantage of other method which is present in the i dictionary interface uh, dictionary dot contains key okay here we are checking like whether the we have a key of type 2 okay now if this is done as it has to result like uh, it has to give us result as, as the key called 2 is present but uh, let us see what is the type of contains key it is of type bool so what I'll do I'll just initialize one variable and I would like to print that variable like yes okay okay now it will check whether the key called 2 is present in my collection okay once it is done it will print true if it is present if it is not print it will print false like uh, I would like to give a key called 6 I have not initialized any key called 6 here now when I run this program it will throw error sorry it will tell us like it output false because that key is not present similarly if you want to check with the value uh, whether the respective value is present or not okay this is how you will check it okay if I want to check like if selenium is present how do I do that okay now when I run this yes obviously it will give true because it is present in this in this collection okay this is what about the contains key and contain key also contains key and contain value okay mm, now once I'm done with this what is my next objective next methods uh, we have a clear method and try get value method okay we'll see it okay what I'll do I'll just remove dictionary dot clear it's a method what it will do it will remove all the elements so let us cross verify how do I cross verify like uh, we'll make use of a count property dictionary dot count okay like before count before clear and after clear we'll count the values present in the collection dictionary dot count now when I run this application it will give like 4 and 0 why because before clear method we add four values once we use the clear method all these values will get erased that's why we are getting a count as zero in the collection that's what we learned in this session like we learned some of the properties and methods about the dictionary collection okay to be 
we'll glance at once like a dictionary is a collection of key value pairs and keep in mind it's a generic collection and t key denotes the type of key and t value is type of value and this and keys in the dictionary must be unique and that's what we did in our program we did not duplicate our key okay and thanks for listening have a great day please subscribe to anchor training below